This isn't looking good. This is not looking good. That's not looking good. That's not looking good. This isn't looking good. There's nothing here. This isn't look. This is not look. That's. This is not. This isn't look. That's. There's nothing here. What up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today. We're gonna try to make some progress on our front end. We got our fenders and we have our hood, which is over on the car right now. We're gonna get to that in a second. We're gonna we're gonna start on our fenders. We had just picked them up from Steve's house in the last video. Steve was kind enough to go ahead and weld our triangle brackets in there, keeping the uh, structural rigidity pretty strong. These vents are able to be you know stuck open now, and uh, now we just have to go ahead and finish adding bondo, sanding everything down. And, uh, and grinding down all of these extra welds and basically just smoothing everything up. My goal for this video is cleaning up the fenders and the hood so that we can completely prepare them to be painted. Lots of Bondo we're gonna be adding in here to kind of round out the edges, uh, just fill in all the holes, all the little uh, imperfections and smoothing out the whole thing. Check it out here guys, we got all of our panels primed up, ready to go. We got our rear bumper over here. Completely forgot about this thing. I literally finished up the hood and the two fenders and totally forgot about the rear bumper. So I just went ahead and knocked that out super quick. There was just two spots we had to fill. There was one chunk right here which really isn't perfect. And then uh, there was a larger chunk here, which is looking a lot better. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of imperfections. I mean, cutting everything yourself, bondoing everything yourself. I'm not a bondo guy. But when it comes to heavy uh, body work and filling and sanding, I do not offer that service because I'm just, I'm bad at it. And I just don't have the patience to get an absolute perfect, smooth finish. These top parts here, they're not perfect, and I really didn't want to... Um, spend much more time on them. You're really not going to see them anyway when they're on the car because you're going to be looking at it from this angle. Uh, but these bottom parts will be shown so I put some extra love into those and they came out really good. They're nice and smooth. This one had some uh, some rippling in the metal. I tried to fill it the best I can. You can still kind of see it. You'll definitely see it once the gloss paint is on there. Again, I'm not I'm not doing this uh, to be a perfect car. This is uh, this is literally a race car that we are doing everything ourselves. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I did fill in all the major nicks and everything like that. And oh my god, I'm so stoked on this one right here that I actually got the dent that was right here. If you guys remember, there was a giant dent right here. It's like completely smoothened out now. I hammered it out. I bonded it. That I can say I'm definitely proud of. But. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as far as everything else, you know, we got some rough edges here on the hood and the, the flaps and everything, but um, still very, very proud of it, and uh, I'm stoked to see the color on it. I can't film too much of me actually painting because the camera just gets ruined in here. I'm gonna get, like, a, maybe a quick clip mixing and, you know, first, first uh, coats, but we are gonna be checking in after that, show you guys a finished product on the entire front end, as well as the rear bumper, so let's get it.
right, dude. So we got our base coat laid down. It's actually looking awesome. It completely reminds me of Jesse's 2023 Toyota Corolla GR because he's got the Marizo. It comes in this like matte dark gray. Looks awesome. We still need to add the clear coat on it so that it will make it, it'll fill in all the little things and uh, really add that gloss to the paint job. Surface isn't exactly perfect, but definitely gonna look really good still. I got the gear on right now. I'm actually getting ready to go ahead and lay down that clear coat and it's getting dark out right now. So um, I'm gonna let it cure overnight. Uh, we're gonna get all of the excess overspray and everything out of here so that when I do film, uh, the finished product it's gonna look really good so i can't wait let's go ahead and get her done all right dude so we got our parts here in uh in their own room had to uh throw them in the guest room so i'm gonna be using the garage to paint the rest of the car and i don't want any overspray or none of that stuff to get on on them but check them out dudes they came out so good i mean they're definitely not perfect but it's crazy look at that i love how this original uh, R32, it's actually an R32 uh, GTR KH2 color. It has some purple in it. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that through the camera, but there is some purple in there in person. Showing my white light on there, it really shows off some purple. So that is literally the perfect color for, for our purple accents. We're going to have a purple engine bay. Uh, both of the front and back bash bars are purple. So it'll definitely... Uh, clash like really really nicely pretty stoked on how the hood came out you can definitely see like a little bit of a line where i switched where i switched up the primers kind of bummed about that but it's not a huge deal you can only see it from certain angles fenders of course you know some issues here and there they were literally tore up cut up welded up tanned down like crazy little one right there but for the most part they came out really nice Still extra glossy. We put three coats of base and two like super thick coats of clear. And I'm so happy. I think the bumper came out the best. The bumper came out absolute glass. Here's the other fender over here. That giant dent in the middle. You can barely see it. I mean, you can't even see it at all. You really can't tell. There's probably like a real small spot. Like right where the light is. Yeah, you can't even tell on camera. Uh, where I was hitting the hammer to kind of hammer it out. But shit, other than that, we do gotta finish these up. We gotta do the vents. We're probably gonna do the purple vents, throw them in there, gloss them up and everything, and make some mounting tabs on the inside. Probably use some JB welds, and it should go on there pretty nicely. Uh, but that will be a little bit later on for our finishing touches. Right now, we gotta go ahead and bring the G in the garage, and we're gonna start knocking out the rest of the, uh, the G35. So now we have both sides. We got the doors, uh, and we have the quarter panels. Uh, that's about it. We're not doing the roof, we're not doing the trunk. Still got the carbon fiber trunk, and we still got the black roof, which we're probably gonna polish up. Chloe, what do you think about everything? She's just happy. <laughs> She's just happy that we just got home. Look at her wagging her tail. What's up? What are you doing? Chloe bit you, ma'am. Where were you on the night of the uh, first of May? All right, guys. So here is the uh, loadout for the G35. We're gonna be removing the trunk. Of course, we're not painting the carbon fiber. We're gonna remove the bash bar in the back, remove the bash bar on the front. Bash bar on the back is freshly painted, so that's gonna be good to go. Probably needs a little touch up. Um, bash bar on the front, I'm debating on just touching it up or just repainting the whole thing. It's got so many, like, you know, scratches and chips and everything with that, just from loading it on trailers and everything. These carbon fiber mirror covers, I, I think I'm gonna take them off and I'm gonna re clear them. And uh, this way I can actually get paint on the mirrors. Uh, we got our quarter panels that are kind of messed up on both sides. Uh, this one had like a decent sized dent right here. As you can see, I've I bonded it before I put the plastic dip on. Did the absolute worst Bondo job. I just, I don't have patience with Bondo, especially back in the day. This was like, this was like three years ago. Um, just went ahead and bonded, bonded it real fast, sanded it down and slapped some plastic dip on there. But I do want to smoothen this down and try to work out my skills a little bit better on this just because it looks absolutely terrible. Coming over on this side, uh, not too bad. We do uh, have a little fill spot right here. Um, it was a lot smaller, so I had more patience to get this one filled out. And uh, it actually filled out pretty nicely, but it, it does need to be primered and sanded down a lot more. A uh, whole body's got to be sanded down. Uh, we don't really have too many dings that need attention or fill. Definitely got to work out all of the cracks and peeling up here on the roof. 
but the uh, whole thing's gonna get sanded down with 400 and then we're gonna prime it. We are gonna be getting most of the jams. Like I wanna get the trunk jam and I wanna get the door jams. Less talking, more working. We got a whole bunch of work ahead of us. We're gonna go ahead and just start bussing up this whole car, sanding it down. Let's get to it. Check it out, we just got that new microphone. Testing one, two, three. Hopefully uh, our audio will come out a lot better. I noticed that since our Rode microphone broke, we had just been using the camera's regular microphone, which isn't bad, but it just picks up the wind like crazy. You won't hear no, <laughs> you won't hear no wind on this one. First things first, we're gonna be pulling off our carbon fiber pieces. One is the trunk. We're gonna be removing or uninstalling the trunk so that we can get up into uh, the jams of the trunk. Uh, we're gonna be removing our mirror covers. Hopefully, I don't break them because they are they're really on there with the 3M double-sided tape that I used. Um, we got our front grill we're gonna be removing. This is actually gonna be painted the color of the car. So I'm gonna be painting that along with the rest of the car. I uh, should have done it with all the small panels that I did earlier, but I totally forgot about it. So yeah, this thing is terrible. I tried to re-clear it. It's all spider cracked and everything, which I'd have to use a lot of epoxy and a lot of patience to go ahead and fill that in if I wanted to keep it carbon fiber, but we are not going to keep it carbon fiber. I think it'll actually look really good. The same color of the car. Also on Instagram, um, if you guys don't follow me, go ahead and follow me, but I put a poll uh, to see if you guys wanted to see the, the new Gretty logo, the same color as, you know, all all the other purple accents, the plum crazy, or if you guys wanted to see it uh, as the new color of the car. And in the poll, you guys had no idea what the new color was, but 52% of you versus 48% uh, voted towards painting the new Greddy logo the same color of the car. So that's what we're gonna be doing, and I'm pretty stoked on that. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get like a stencil or something like that to cover the same size of that Greddy logo, or if I'm just gonna kinda hand put it on, I might do that, but we'll see. Come on guys, always gotta use your head. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is the hard part, uh, getting these off. I'm gonna try to use a tool, help cut the tape a little bit and release some stress. <laughs> Alright guys, so now that we got all of the carbon fiber off, we can now start taking off a couple other things that uh, we don't want to be on there while we paint. So we got our mirrors that we're going to go ahead and remove, we got our handles that we're going to go ahead and remove. Uh, those should be pretty easy, I think they can just, they, they come out from a little bolt right here. They should just be able to pop right out, these little things, end pieces just pop right off. I gotta take the plastic dip off of that. Still got a bunch of plastic dip all in the nicks and crannies, so when I take off the mirrors and the handles, I'm gonna take them out of there. Just check along the hood here, the roof. Most of this plastic dip will just have to come off while I am sanding, because uh, it's really thin and really hard to get off with your hand. Alright guys, mirrors and door handles are off. Now we can go ahead and work on uh, some of the major bodywork, bondo, all that good stuff. So we're going to start with the quarter panels. We're going to get those hopefully smoothened out to the best of my ability. We're going to go ahead and leave the gas cap on there. Just got to get all up inside and peel off all this plastic up that is still left over. But now that we have the handles and mirrors off, we can actually go in here and get all the fine plastic dip off as well. <laughs> Alright guys, body filler is in place over here on this major side. We might have to add some more. We'll see how it looks after we sand and prime it the first time. Got a couple dents, or dings actually I should say, uh, filled up. One on the door, or two on the door here, one on the rear quarter panel. This rear quarter panel side is actually pretty good. It's probably just going to need more primer than anything. But um, I went ahead and put some more bond on that little corner right there. Hopefully we can get that smoothened down and looking nice and even with the rest of it. Gotta go ahead and get all the trunk jam as well. Super dirty in here. Let's go ahead and clean that up real quick. All right, guys. So we got it all cleaned up. 
spotless in there no more dirt and grime uh, we do have to go ahead and sand that down but we'll be doing that when we do the rest of the car so we also got to clean up the uh the door jams here and we got to mask off the rest of the inside of the car we're going to be ripping this trim up ripping all this trim off this is going to come up so that we can tape the this is going to come up so that we can have our our line where we're going to where we're going to mask off so basically on this weld where this weather stripping sits onto uh, that's where we are going to be masking for our paint line beautiful skyline plates that are all dirty oh yeah we got to get all that cleaned up all right guys so now we have our door jams all cleaned up just got to go ahead and sand them all down we will eventually be masking off all of our little things here such as like the vin plate um, tire information sticker as well as all this good stuff right here i'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and uh our bondo should be dry by now we're gonna go ahead and start uh sanding down all of the bondo go ahead and get that nice and even So it's a mess in here, but we got our quarter panel all quickly primered up It's not perfect, but you you can see the angle that I was trying to get you can see the body curve that runs down And that's basically what I was trying to do just kind of define that body curve a little bit more and fill in more of the uh, More of the denting that that goes in there. Anyway, that's all done uh, I went ahead and clicked primed up the other spots that I had dings so that the primer can soak into the body Filler. And now guys we got the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and hit the whole entire car Well the doors and the quarter panels and the a pillars with uh, 400 grit sandpaper We're gonna go ahead and sand it all down. I'm gonna be using this like a little block I'm gonna wrap some 400 around it and uh, I'm gonna get sanding so let's get it <laughs> So we got the entire body of the car sanded down and it is ready for primer well almost we got to go ahead and clean it up now so uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice little car wash then we're gonna have to let it dry for a significant amount of time uh, before we go ahead and lay our primer down so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it up right now and I'll be right back with you guys in a second okay, guys so for the most part she is all dried up now we're gonna go ahead and mask it so just to kind of give you guys an example uh, check this out so what I did was I went ahead and wrapped the, uh, like this little lip right here that sticks up around with the tape. And then I cut out a little piece of plastic out of a huge roll that I have. Um, these rolls you can get from Home Depot. This HDX comes in like a pack of six, I think. And they're super long, they're like the length of the car. So I should hopefully have enough to mask off the car. But anyway, I went ahead and before I folded the tape over, I put a sheet right inside and I started sticking it to the edges. And then I went ahead and folded over the lips so we can't get any paint on the inside of the car, which is exactly what we don't want. So that's always good. And uh, we got all of our space on the inside here all cleaned up and sanded down. So now we can get some nice even coverage on the inside. So we do have to go ahead and mask the rest of the car. We can't get any paint on our beautiful Nismos and or our windows, the roof, the whole engine bay. So, you know, the inside of the car. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work our way from the back to the front. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the back window. We're gonna wrap the wheels up, wrap the, wrap the roof. Um, we're probably gonna do one big piece, back window, roof, all the way to the front where the engine bay is, because that plastic is pretty far. So all the edges will be taped up and attached to the plastic. So yeah, I'll show you guys that right now. Been working.
working hard all day. As you can see, it's nighttime. Um, so we got both doors open. We got the inner door cards masked off, and we have the trim for the window moldings masked off. I got everything as close as I possibly could, especially with these moldings that are definitely not removable. I got a real good line on them, kind of wrapping around the inside. But anyway, I got the tape real close, so hopefully we won't see any of the old paint when we start ripping everything off, but I think we're gonna be pretty good. I went ahead and masked off the, the gas cap and the other little things to keep the door moving freely open and closed. I do want to spray inside there a little bit just so you don't see the extra color on the inside. Got the door jams real good and cleaned up, nice and sanded down. Got the whole interior of the car masked off, nice and sealed up. We got the trunk sealed up. We got the rear bash bar. Got all four wheels masked up. As you can see, I got this side done as well. We're basically all set and ready to go. I went ahead and took a microfiber towel with an alcohol solution and just went over the entire surface uh, that I'm gonna be painting just to make sure there's no grease or fingerprints or anything kind of left over. And uh, yeah, we're basically ready to go ahead and put our primer on. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't do too well with uh, primer and paint mist in the air and everything. So I'm gonna leave the camera inside, but I'm gonna whip up some work and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in a second. And check it out guys, so we have the entire car all primed up as you guys can see all the door jams Everything's looking good nice and primed ready for paint uh, We went over it with a microfiber and an alcohol solution this thing is coming together really good I'm so excited. No, but it has been forever like we've been we've been working on g35s and making YouTube videos for this channel for almost five years now and uh I have plastied up the entire car before, but I've never painted it or like, like, it, like actually finished the entire um, bodywork. As you guys remember, back in uh, 2019 when I had the other G35 before we were boosted and everything, um, I was getting ready to get it painted. We had vented fenders, we had the vented rear bumper, um, we had a little body kit going. The, the front, the front bumper was the Karuma Z. I really like that style. And uh, right before we painted it. Somebody wanted to uh, T-bone me, and unfortunately that G, uh, that G is now history. But we did make a super strong comeback. Um, huge shout out to everybody who's always been there and supported the videos, whether it be with your comments, by liking it, or even just simply watching the video. Um, my heart goes out to all you guys. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. And I uh, thank you guys for still watching even years later and um, for being patient with me and the project here. Uh, we are finally coming to uh, not really an end but we're, we're actually getting it to like a finished state where it's gonna be like really enjoyable and I'm really excited for that Right, dude so the parts got their own bedroom basically right now um, we got our vents done went ahead and painted them last night got them nice gloss purple they are looking awesome um, this one's for the fender just put the other one in the other fender and it came out okay 
And JB welded down these extra parts of the the mesh that I cut out, trying trying to use them as clips, and they work really good. You can just bend them over, fold them over, and um, the JB weld and I used silicone too really stuck to the inside of the fender. So this will work. Problem is my uh, my mesh isn't as wide as I uh, wanted it to be, and it's a lot harder to bend in all these little angles. So I'm going to show you guys, you know, how I get this flat piece looking good in here with the paint side facing uh, you know the outside of the fender but I'm gonna show you guys that real quick these are super easy these are for the rear bumper they are already folded perfectly just the way they need to fit in there and there are some tabs on the inside that will just fold over and close them in so uh, yeah that'll be good we'll go ahead and put these in and then we'll work on the fender and show you guys how it came out All right, dude, so check it out. So we have some silicone. Just like I explained, I had the uh, clips here just a little bit too wide. So I was able to utilize the three clips that I put up front. Just had to put some extra silicone on them to really like kind of bond them in place. But they're sitting really good. They look, they look freaking awesome. Looks ugly on this side, but no one's gonna see this side. Ooh, check it out. We got them purple accents. I think it's really gonna complement everything else in the car really well. The rear bumper came out awesome. Probably the best part, I, I, I spent like less time prepping this and it actually came out a lot nicer than the rest of the car, but it's all good, you know, it's at least, you know, that booty gonna look nice. The purple really complements that, that dark gray. <laughs> I can't wait to see this on the car, dude, let's go. All right, about to put the fenders on there. I just got a glance at it off camera. It looks freaking awesome. Look at this, get them angles. Damn it. Sheesh. It's not even, it's not even installed. I literally just sat it down. Look at this fingers. I just sat it down. Yeah. Look at that, what? Dude, the fenders are looking so nice on the car, dude. It's been such a long time coming. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. But also, still got to get to work because we got the rear bumper to put on. What the f <laughs> This is my car right here, bro. What the fuck? Who's G35, boy? Can't even start this thing. It is so dead. It's gonna need a new battery. I got the jump box on it, trying to charge it for now, but thing looks pretty crazy out here. I could definitely see all my uh, imperfections out here in the, <laughs> in the sun. Still, still in love with it for sure. I'm loving these fenders. Yeah, dude, this is our car, bro. This side looks good. <laughs> a little bit of overspray. Definitely got a lot of cleaning up to do. Got to get the overspray off of the tires. Some of it got on the rim. Uh, it's fine. We'll just go ahead and use some acetone, get some of that off. The whole interior needs a whole cleaning. What I, We got... Even the roof, we're gonna have to go ahead and wet sand and buff and polish the roof. Probably the same thing with the carbon fiber trunk. Go ahead and do like a full interior detail. This is basically everything that we're able to show off in this video. The entire car has been painted KH2, Nissan color, R32, Skyline color. Looks so good in the G35 with the Nismos. Definitely a whole bunch of cleaning up to do on the G and still a lot more work. We gotta get the side skirts on. We gotta get the headlights wired up and installed. We've actually got another last fit uh, auto lighting LED kit that we're gonna be installing and showcasing to you guys. So we're probably gonna be doing that in the next video because I wanna get this front end on ASAP. I wanna be able to drive it over to an exhaust shop and have them take care of the exhaust leaks. We gotta throw a new uh, fuel pump housing in there. We gotta modify it to our bigger Wabrol 485 fuel pump um, because my gas readings are totally off and I'm pretty sure it's because of that fuel pump housing. Lots of work to do, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for tagging along. Um, it's awesome to see the car come this far and I can't wait to see what is gonna be coming next for the car. I can't even start it right now. So we need a battery first and foremost. <laughs> anyway guys, please smash that like button and let me know what you guys think about this color down in the comments. What you guys think about our ricey fenders, if you guys think they're ricey or if they actually look cool. If you guys want to attempt doing something like this, let me know. Always love to hear you guys input and as always stick around for the next video and I'll see you guys.